The Yukala community has earned an appreciative following for its art since becoming a mission in 1935, which allowed the community to survive the Australian government's considering to eliminate the local people. In the face of such threats, but also domination by missionaries and takeover by miners, Yukala people have turned to using their art to assert their connection to country and reject the myth of terra nullius. Yukala culture is based on real connection to both land and sea, since trade and intermarriage with Macassans from the 12th century. Yukala works of art have also prompted recognition of Aboriginal art as an independent art form. And artists have recognised the potential of their art as a political tool and put this into practice with the now famous Yukala church annals. They have created a collection of 80 bark paintings, the so-called Saltwater Collection, which form part of the legal case for recognition of Aboriginal rights. In 2008, the High Court determined them to be the rightful owners of the Yukala Sea Estates. To the Honourable Speaker and members of the House of Representatives in Parliament assembled, the humble petition of the undersigned Aboriginal people of Yukala, being members of the following 17 tribes, respectfully showeth that nearly 500 people of the above tribes are residents of the land excised from the Aboriginal Reserve in Arnhem Land, that the procedures of the excision of this land and the rate of the people on it were never explained to them beforehand and were kept secret from them. That when welfare officers and government officials came to inform them of decisions taken without them and against them, they did not undertake to convey to the government in Canberra the views and feelings of the Yurkala Aboriginal people. That the land in question has been hunting and food gathering land for the Yurkala tribes from time immemorial. We were all born here. That places sacred to the Yurkala people, as well as vital to their livelihood, are in the excised land, especially Melville Bay. That the people of this area fear that their needs and interests will be completely ignored, as they have been ignored in the past. And they fear that the fate which has overtaken the Larrakia tribe will overtake them. And they humbly pray that the Honourable the House of Representatives will appoint a committee accompanied by competent interpreters to hear the views of the people of Yukala before permitting the excision of this land. They humbly pray that no arrangements be entered into with any company which will destroy the livelihood and independence of the Yukala people. And your petitioners as in duty bound will ever pray God to help you and us.